Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a short video in what's become a series of videos all about the Artec 261 ACDC inverter TIG welder. In this video, I'm not going to be welding the normal shite, excavable gearboxes and cylinder heads. I'm going to be welding some nice, new, clean aluminium box section and some nice, clean flat plate. I'm going to do some of the welds on easy sets and I'm going to do some of the welds on the settings that I've put into the machine like to customise it to the way I want it to work. The idea is to show you how to get the best out of the machine. I'm going to do some arc shots, some welding shots, not to show you how to weld, just to show you the subtle differences that little things make to the quality of the weld. This is the job I've got to do, I've got to weld this up, in fact I've got to weld six of them up there's a slight gap in between the joints which is ideal which means I know I'm going to get loads of penetration. Before I start welding on this he did send a load of off cuts up so I'm going to clean some of these up and have a little bit of practice setting the welder up on the joints on here before I actually start uh, welding on the job properly. On the front panel of the welder we need to select AC TIG. AC TIG and I'm going to go straight into easy set. Right, so we're going to set up the welder. First thing is tungsten. I'm using a 2.4 tungsten. I use a 2.4 tungsten for most things. It's actually 4mm box section, so we'll set that to 4mm. It's magnesium based, so we'll set that to that one. Call it a T joint. Pulses off. I'm going to be using a pedal. It's going to give me 150 amps, that's its recommended setting. Gas flow, 8 litres a minute, cup size 7. You can go up or down 10%. We'll leave it at 150 and we'll give it a go and see what sort of results we'll get on the basic easy set settings. I've got two bits of scrap set up. I've cleaned them with a wire brush. I'm going to weld this one using the easy set. So it's going to be a flat weld along there, like a butt weld. Then there's an in inside corner joint. And an outside corner joint, all on easy set, then I'll do you that one on my settings. Great shiny weld. I'll turn it over and do the same weld on the other side. Now the inside corner joint. a little bit straight towards the end but I am trying to weld around the camera now. This time we're going to go into AC manual so we'll scroll down AC TIG program 4 it's already on program 4 and on program 4 we've got 0.7 of a second pre-flow 30 amps starting current square wave 140 hertz. I've got the balance set at 32 percent. Back to the beginning again, and I've got it set at 160 amps, which will be more than enough. So we'll do a weld on nice settings. See how it compares with the weld on the easy set settings. I'm going to do exactly the same welds on here, but I'm going to use my settings. Turn it over, 
we'll use our shade. Nice, bright, shiny weld. Now we'll do the inside corner. Once again, nice, bright, shiny weld. I'm going to get some tacks on this then, we can turn it over and weld it properly. I've got two identical pieces of aluminium here. I'm going to weld one using the easy set and then one using my settings. Different, co different coupons so they'll both start off cooled. We'll do the easy set first, one run down there, then one run down there and hopefully you can get a better comparison with the two welds together. These are the two welds, that one's on easy set, and that's my settings. You can see how my weld is a little bit brighter and shinier, it's also a lot tighter, it's a narrower bead. This is the weld we've just done, I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a, little bit of a test. Not a bad world really. It's nice to know that when you do that, the weld doesn't come to bits, it gives you a little bit of confidence. That's not bad. Right, eventually it's come apart. It's actually snapped the metal, not the weld. Quite happy with that. I'm sure you'll agree the weld I did exactly what it's supposed to do. It welded very nicely on the easy set and then that little bit better on the settings that I put in when you take manual control of the welder. There is a link in the description box to the Artec website. If you do decide to buy a welder from Artec, in fact anything from Artec, be sure to use my name. It certainly won't do you any harm. Anyway, thanks for watching. Why the waste coat? It keeps me kite in, that's the reason for the waistcoat.